Mr. McLaurin, in my materials here uh, for this program, uh, a number of commentators pursuing the kind of point that I was pursuing before have commented that as they understand your view, you really don't think that changing the contents of television would change much this process. No. But you know, you may have seen a New Yorker joke, uh, a, a couple are watching TV, and one says, when you think of the vast educational potential of TV, aren't you glad it doesn't? Mm -hmm. uh, this is based on the assumption, you see, that it's the content that does the educating, not the media. Now, if it should be just the other way around, and uh, very few people have asked themselves anything about that, uh, then it would be understandable why these things happen involuntarily and unasked. Well, but how far can we push this? I mean, uh, Let's push this, it all the way. Pa Peyton Place. If, if you put on Peyton Place, or if you put on uh, a, docu a news documentary, now the contents are radically different in that case. But still, from your point of view, the medium is transcending the contents yes. and, and significance so far as the person out there is concerned. It's like changing the temperature in a room. Uh, it doesn't matter what's in the room at all or what pictures are on the wall or what, who's in the room. If the temperature drops 40 degrees suddenly, the effect on our, our uh, outlook, our attitudes, profound. Mm -hmm. Media are like that. They just alter the total social temperature. Since TV, the whole American political temperature has cooled down, 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 until the uh, political process is almost approaching rigor mortis. This, uh, these effects of media are not uh, the areas in which they look. After all, the medical profession was in the habit of uh, looking in the wrong places for causes and effects for many centuries. And... Uh, uh, Nobody has come up with any suggestions for how to control media or the social impact of technologies until now.